Right, well, it's afternoon here. So good afternoon from Australia to wherever you are um, for the 6 a.m. Jerusalem time call on Global Watch. Today it's for uh, Myanmar and um, it's great to have Roz and All Rain and David and all you others that are so faithful. And um, we just say, thank you, Lord. We welcome you. Come, Holy Spirit. Have your way in us today. In Jesus' name. Thanks, Roz. Amen. Thanks, Alison. Thank you, Father. We're just coming before you into your presence, Lord God. We thank you, Father. We thank you that your heart is for your people. And we are assured that your heart is for your people in Myanmar, Lord God. And we just lift them up to you today, Lord God. We lift them to you. We thank you that you surround them. Father, that your love is being made manifest to them even as we meet today. So we bless you and we thank you for your blessing upon me and my Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. All rain is with us today, but he's not able to lead worship. He's been praying for a Muslim man who's very ill, and we will pray for him in a little while. Um, but we will worship with this blessing over Myanmar. We welcome those that have just joined us. We've been worshipping with, with many from Myanmar, many worship leaders to bless Myanmar. Yesterday was the second anniversary of the coup that occurred on the 1st of February, 2021. So it's two years now into this situation where many thousands have died, including hundreds, at least 200 children. Many have been imprisoned, disappeared. And the aerial bombings, um, the rapes, the burning of villages continues unabated, basically. It has prompted the government of Australia and Canada and the UK yesterday to impose more sanctions. For Australia, these are the first sanctions because on the day of the coup, um, when Aung San Suu Kyi was imprisoned, Professor Sean Turnell, an Australian economist, was um, working with um, Aung San Suu Kyi, and he was also imprisoned. And our government remained fairly quiet until he was released in November last year. Um, and so he has encouraged them more than encouraged. I'm sure he's been doing a lot of pushing and advocating uh, for them to begin imposing sanctions, mainly on Aung Man Aung Ming Lang, um, the, the general, the other generals, um, the sanctions are being imposed on uh, companies that provide them with jet fuel. Um, and, and the generals, we call them the cronies in Myanmar, retired generals who own much of the, the rare, the natural resources of Myanmar, everything from timber to uranium, to gold, to precious jewels, um, gas, oil, all of these things, including much of the airlines, the banks, all belong to a consortium of, of generals. So sanctions have been placed. I think the the US have placed some hundreds of sanctions, um, but more sanctions have been placed since yesterday. So we're rejoicing about that. It's been one of our prayers to see their income, the income of the generals, the income that 
keeps providing them with jet bombers and uh, and lots of, of weapons. We've, we've been looking to reduce their income and that has happened again as of yesterday. So that will be one prayer point. Um, I don't know whether you saw in that, um, that video, but somebody had a, a T-shirt on and it said, hope is reborn. Um, and so we're going to pray for hope to rise up again in Myanmar. The people are, have hope. That, that um, video that I showed you was done two years ago before the coup. There were a series of, of videos and they were all done just before the coup. And they're all worship leaders in, in those pastors and worship leaders. And uh, some years back, Sue Rao and um, a few of us from Australia did a conference um, with a house of prayer in Yangon. Um, and we had 400 worship leaders and pastors, mostly very young, that, that attended that. It was a really powerful gathering. And I see some of those faces in that video. One of them is someone that I got to know quite well. She's a very powerful worship warrior. She was teaching in the Bible College, but she... Um, and her, her whole heart is for mission. And so what she's doing currently is um, teaching um, children in um, schools that have been set up by the National Unity Government. Some of the kids have not been able to go to schools run by the government for fear of being um, taken captive because of their parents. And so the National Unity Government has set up schools um, that are held in secret. And she's doing one of those, um, teaching one of those classes. She does get to teach them some worship and she's an amazing worshiper. So I just wanted to share that picture just to give you a picture of the heart of these people and they have big hearts, big hearts, big hearts for the Lord, big hearts for mission, big hearts for Israel. Um, there's one other bit of good news that I'll share with you if I can find the, um, so this is all rain. He um, is our worship pastor and um, they've taken delivery of many thousands, probably, Bibles. Um, we believe that, or I think it is Francis Chan that has been financing um, many Bibles to be printed in Chiang Mai across the border in Thailand. And these ones are going to Kachin State, which is up in the north adjacent to China. Kachin State is one that was not, um, unfortunately, it wasn't involved in the ceasefire that some of the other tribes had. So they have had ongoing warfare in Kachin State since the beginning of Myanmar since 1948. And here they're praying over these Bibles because they have quite a difficult journey to make through war-torn Myanmar to get to Kachin State up in the north and to get into the hands of the right people. So we also want to be praying for them. David, have you got anything you want to share? Yes, I, uh, I had a, um, uh, a message from a pastor who sent me a picture, and um, it was the picture of the top of the Irrawaddy River. Now, the Irrawaddy River runs 
pretty well from the Chinese border right down to the Irrawaddy region of of um, Myanmar and into the sea. And it's the lifeline. It's for for the country. Uh, the people fish from it. They irrigate from it, etc. And the picture is, I can actually show you the picture if I can put it up. Can I do that somehow? Alison, I'll make you a co-host, then you can. All right. Do I go to share screen or something? No? No, anyway, yes, look. Yes, um, yes, you do. You go to share screen and it should all work. Do I move the picture onto there? No. Uh, desktop, maybe. All right. Share. No, not desktop. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. All right. So there's your right. picture. Can you see that picture? Yes, we can. Okay. All right. So um, that's the Irrawaddy River, and it's probably a quarter of what it should be. In fact, this is the rainy season. It should be flooding. And uh, the Chinese, according to this pastor, the Chinese, when, when Aung San Suu Kyi was uh, in government, the Chinese, what, Chinese wanted to have a, uh, uh, a deal with, with her government that they could take uh, massive amounts of the Irrawaddy River and use it for their uh, manufacturing in China. And um, she wouldn't allow it. Well, the Chinese had taken the water anyway. The generals have let them do it. So this is the main river that runs north-south or northish, southish. If you look it up, Irrawaddy on the on the map, uh, and it's the lifeline of of Burma. It's now. Um, uh, I think this is just greed on the side. The Chinese are making hay while the sun shines on this one, uh, the communist Chinese government. But anyway, um, uh, they they are con really concerned about this because when you add that to uh, the the farm numbers of farmers who aren't planting because of the war, uh, the estimated food shortages that there should be this year, uh, they're talking about um, malnutrition. Uh, on a massive scale. So this is just one more uh, horrible uh, arrow in the um, in the enemy's quiver. And um, uh, you know we are not we are not unaware of his of his plans, but God is a lot tougher and a lot bigger and a lot stronger and able to you know, uh, reverse the enemy's plans and make it all right. but I just wanted to make you aware of that. This is actually what you're looking at there is there's actually two rivers forming into actually the Irrawaddy River. And you, on one side, the river isn't even running here. And uh, the other river is coming around this way. So the, the Irrawaddy River will be right back where they've been driving along here, that would be, and it would it'd be very, very deep. But yeah, that's what I have. Sorry, it's not as positive as I would like it to be, but anyway. Thanks, David. We we are aware that a lot of their crops have, crops have been destroyed. Previously, the junta, um, before Aung San Suu Kyi's presidency, the junta worked on a system of five cuts. And David, you might help me with these. But one um, was food. They would burn down their crops, which is what they're still doing. Secondly, communication. They didn't have mobile phones until Aung San Suu Kyi arrived on the scene. Um, the only ones that had it were the generals, um, they didn't have much in the way of vehicles either until that time. Um, so communication and the only uh, people living in the center, the only communication that they had from radio was from things that were sponsored by the army. So they 
only had a very they had no no impact from um media from outside of Myanmar whereas now that is the thing that is different the people do have internet they do have mobile phones they are aware of what's going on outside communications thirdly travel they closed off very large sectors people couldn't travel from a to b um, education they burnt down schools and they've still been doing that david what was the fifth cut i what think you covered them have i covered them all food communication education, uh, education travel travel okay all right well that's pretty much the way that they have operated and they're doing it again i just had a note from toke pastor toke can't join us today but he said that yesterday there was another silent strike so despite the fact that the soldiers are all around them with with guns um, and prepared to open fire in Yangon, they had another silent strike in the streets. So there are very brave people. The Karen National Union and the um, Karen Army fasted and prayed for 24 hours together. Um, and so there is prayer coming up from this nation. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. David, can you just lead us out in prayer and can i just mention to pray for the the, the kachin bibles getting up into kachin state and getting into the hands of people who need them um the food supplies um crops that have been destroyed the, the water supplies mm. Father, we are aware, we, we can see ahead and we can see the troubles that there, there possibly can be on the horizon, but you are the God who makes manna fall from heaven to feed your people. Lord, you are God who provides quail. Lord, you are the God who can provide rain, timely rain, to fill rivers. And Father, in Jesus' name, we just want to say that the great evil that we see uh, coming on the horizon, the lack of crops and the, the the lack of food that's predicted in these coming months. Lord, we we look at you and we say, Lord, you are much bigger than anything that generals can put together. And we ask, Lord, in Jesus' name, that you would divinely intervene and you would not allow the starvation of the people of Myanmar to take place. We pray, Lord, that you would intervene, that, Lord, there will be abundant food in the jungles. Lord, the bananas would grow doubly big or whatever it is that needs to happen, Lord, to provide sustenance for the people. Father, in Jesus' name, we ask you to intervene. And we give you thanks, Lord, for the Bibles that have been provided. And we ask, Lord, that those Bibles would make it safely into Kachin State. And we ask you, Lord, in Jesus' name, to distribute those Bibles, Lord, to, to families who will who will not just stick them on the shelf, but, Father, read them, understand them, and stand on the word. Father, we ask that you will put people who are thirsty for Jesus in contact with churches and fellowships that can to can teach them, can encourage them, can disciple them. We ask, Lord, that despite the, the tough times that your church would thrive in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. When I was listening to the worship and seeing all these uh, wonderful people, I got immediately also with hope and uh, Hebrews 6, 19, I want to read from the Amplified and declare over Myanmar, um, the people of uh, Myanmar, this hope, this confident assurance we have as an anchor of the soul. It cannot slip and it cannot break down under whatever pressure bears upon it. 
a safe and steadfast hope that enters within the veil of the heavenly temple, that most holy place in which the very presence of God dwells. Father, and I thank you for this precious people of Myanmar, that I thank you that this hope, Father, that it's anchored in, the, in your presence, Lord, that it dwells in your pre presence, Father. I thank you that you help them to express uh, their hearts, your heart in them to um to really pour out, Father. I thank you that they have, I saw these, these roots, um, these trees of righteousness, that these roots going deep into this water of life, Lord, and drinking, being nourished being um, founded in you, their faith and their, their, uh, their love and faithfulness, that they are rooted and grounded in you, Jesus Christ, and that they will stand in whatever situation. Father, thank you that they drink, Father, from your river of life, Father. And uh, Father, thank you for your protection, Father, that this comes up, that you empower them with power from on high and that they are enlightened, in your heart, in their heart, with your word, Lord, with your presence, Holy Spirit. Father, I thank you that uh, your hand is upon them and that your spirit is around them and that your arms are underneath them and you, that thank you that your hand, your anointing is upon them, Father, to speak out your word, to stand in boldness, to keep standing steadfast in all what and what they are facing and we declare your victory in every area in jesus mighty name amen amen lord i have me father we thank you we praise you oh god father you're a mighty god you're a miracle working god and so, Father God, you said that in the last days we will see miracles. Father, we pray that this miracle will be over Myanmar, Lord, that you will touch their waterways, that you'll touch their crops, oh God, supernaturally, Father God, that they will multiply, Lord, just like you did the fishes, just like you fed the multitudes, oh God. So, Father, we pray that your supernatural hand will be over Myanmar, especially your children, Lord, that are crying out to you, that are fasting and praying, Lord, that they will not have any need, that you will feed them, you will protect them, Lord, you will provide for them, Father, and that you said you will not beg for bread or you will not uh, uh, lack for shelter. Your word says that, oh Lord. So Father, we pray that none of them will die off um, starvation that supernaturally, Lord, that you'll extend the food that is already there. You multiply it, Lord, because that is the miracle. And we commit all of them into your hands. And Father, for uh, uh, Orain, as he's um, working to distribute these Bibles, your word is so precious. This is the food for our spirit, oh God. We need that spirit and the food for our spirit. So Father, we pray that it'll go into every hand that is seeking, that is longing for your word, Lord, that not one would be lost. And the whoever gets it, Lord, that they will be able to just uh, get so rooted in thy word that nothing will shake them and that they will stand. Father, so many times we've heard that even in the underground church in China, that they used to have one sheet, just one page of the Bible. And that one page used to go travel around among so many people. They memorized it, Lord. They loved it. They stood on it. Just one page. And we have so many Bibles, every kind of Bible in each of our homes, Lord. And many of it just sits on the shelf. We don't even study it. So, Lord, it is so precious. We need your word. So, Father, we pray that every Bible that is being distributed will fall into the right hands and it will be deeply rooted in their spirits, the word that they read and meditate on and believe and trust in. So we thank you. We praise you. We commit this into your hands, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. And I want to declare Matthew 19, 26. Jesus said to them, with man, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. Lord, that's your word, and we declare it over this situation in Myanmar today. 
With man, it's impossible. With you, all things are possible. So we declare miracles as our sisters just prayed in Jesus' name. Amen. And Father, we thank you that if the Junta is cutting the people off from food, from information, from traveling and what else, but that they cannot cut them off from your presence, Father. We thank you that your presence is much, much stronger than everything the Junta can do. And so we ask you, Father, to lay your presence over that nation, to touch many, many hearts who just heard a little about it. And even to touch many of the soldiers that they, their heart will beat and they see what evil they are doing that they will leave if they are able to, to flee from the army. We ask you for your presence into this nation. Thank you that the people could not be cut off from your presence. And um, when Shanta was praying, I really got I, I I really felt in the spirit that the Lord will show them a new um a new kind of uh, like growing uh, um crops or something, a new way of agriculture that's just um 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 a different father i thank you for this opening for releasing your revelation releasing um to the specific people father your new way of um being fed your new way of growing or of um or um thank you that you have um as a, a secret manner for them and i call it force maybe secret trees or something a new in, in intervention that just uh, you bring in father i thank you that you secure it that people can see it and receive it also making a shift of more being um being um secured in their also in their food lord um i thank you in jesus mighty name amen yes lord i also want to pray that what the enemy have, has planned for evil, you turn into good in every part of what we had just talked about. Lord, we really stand as watchmen here around this nation. We want to see this nation shining. We standing on the wall until you will turn the history for this nation. We want to see Myanmar being a nation under God. We want to see that they, yeah, that they will find you as a whole nation, God, that because of everything what happens, they will turn to you, that they will cry out for a savior, God. Um, we, we, will, we want to see that uh, Myanmar will be a nation who guides others to you, God. And we thank you that you that you have faith for this uh, change, God. We thank you that you are in the midst of this. We thank you that you have not forgotten these people, God. We thank you that also this song, what we heard in the beginning, it was produced before all of this. You knew that this will coming. Um, we often think that this is a mistake, but you know what, what would happen, God. And so we, we pray together as war prayer warriors that we, we lift up your name. You are the provider. You are Yahweh Yireh, who has more than enough for these people, God. So we want to, that you... Give it to them, like you have prayed already, that you give new ways for um, providing. We ask you that out of the nations will come food for Myanmar, God. We ask you for uh, organizations that they, that they can bring food and whatever they need to this nation, God. We ask you uh, for a change in the coming weeks, God. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Father, I thank you that you are establishing righteousness and justice. I see you like these two pillars, Lord, that you give me and mother land back, Lord, so that they can possess this land, Father. I thank you, Lord, in Psalm 2, you said, um, Father, you gave the nations to um to Jesus, also the islands, and you you and, and thank you, Father. We we call in Myanmar. And that, and we declare that Myanmar is the nation. The land of Myanmar belongs to the Lord Jesus Christ. It's His 
land. It's his nation. Thank you for righteousness and justice we release uh, into this land, into the people, Lord, your kingdom to be established, your government seat to be established. Father, I know that you are especially, like islands, you are, you're especially for the, the, the small places, the small uh, countries that cannot defend themselves, that are just overtaken. Father, thank you that the Lion of Judah is roaring and taking yeah. position the land and for lord thank you that you are walking um uh jesus as this line from you that you are circling in this in Myanmar and taking this crown father thank you that your people in boldness stand and stand on the ground and and declare in boldness and um, that Myanmar, that their nation, their ground belongs to Jesus Christ. Father, thank, thank you that you are releasing this real righteousness and justice mm -hmm. and that they can, you you open up your way, Lord, your blessings um, mm -hmm. to, for the host of heaven to come in, to march, to defend and to take over and to um, make this stand, Lord, this weight on, on Myanmar, on their land, that your foot, I see your feet, Father, standing on Myanmar, and um, that the enemy has to flee seven ways, has to let go, Father. I thank you, Lord, for your stand in this nation, and that you open your way, Lord, that Myanmar, you, you, I release the resources that you have given Myanmar. You have already put the resources in the countries, in the lands. And Father, I thank you that you possess these resources and that you that they will come up in the right in the hands of your people, you, because you are doing this transfer. And, um, and that they come up in, in the hand of your people and that it will be for their nourishing. It will be for their um, eating and drinking for their food, Father. I thank you for your big, powerful move in Myanmar, in this nation, in your mighty name. Amen. 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 Lord, I pray to the hearts of the um, Myanmar people, Lord, that you would comfort them and... Um, Give them the strength to forgive and to set free, but that they might not be entangled in bitterness and disappointment and hate, but rather, oh Lord, that your spirit be poured out over them, that they might be able to bless and set free. Lord, I pray that you would call those who are oppressing them into your kingdom, that there would be a, a great change of heart. And Lord, that the Miamis themselves, too, would be able to um, rest in your peace in the midst of all these difficulties and, and growing in you, Lord, that you might comfort and fill them with hope. And Lord, I bring you rain who is praying for this Muslim man, Lord, that you would give him also hope as he prays. And Lord, that you would work out your goodwill in this man's life, that he might come to know you in your fullness and your love. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 And Lord, we want to pray for the children in yes. Myanmar, the young adults, the adolescents, the, the, the under 12s. Lord God, we pray that in all this chaos and confusion, they'll come to know you personally. Lord God, we pray that you reveal yourself to them, that they'll come to know you. Provide teachers around them who know you, Lord. We pray, Lord, that even the schools where they're attending school, Lord, you'll provide somebody who knows about you, who can talk to them about you. We pray that you deliver them from the Buddhism. We pray that, Lord, you establish yourself in their lives, that as they grow up, they grow up in you, Lord. Your word says that Jesus grew up in wisdom, in stature, and in favor with you and with man. We pray that these children will grow up in wisdom, in stature, and in favor with you, Lord, and with man. We pray, Lord, that the people around them will be like Mordecai, who can bring them up in your fear, who can bring them up to grow into adults who are responsible and who love you and fear you. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Yes, Lord, we are.
thinking of the children today, Lord God, their education has been so impacted by COVID, by the coup, by all of these things. Some of them have not even been able to, to go to school for the last three years. But Lord, we know that you can minister to them. And I just am so aware of the resilience of this people, Lord God. Lord, they do look to you. They do look to you for provision, for supply, for covering and protection. Lord, they are a peaceful people, oh God. Even out there on the streets in Yangon, doing another silent protest, even though they know the guns are aimed at them. Oh, Father, thank you for that. Hearts of these people, God, are so precious, so precious to you, Lord God. And the little children, Lord, we thank you for all of those that are teaching them, even hidden away in, in dark holes, Lord God, that you would provide all that they need in the way of materials, covering and protection and food, Lord. Lord, that you would oversee their, their learning, that they would come to know about you, Lord, that they would hear your voice, learn to hear your voice. Above all, learn to, to know you, to come into your presence. Lord, I thank you as you have prayed, Lord, that your feet are standing in this nation, your Holy Spirit. Is hovering over every part of it, Lord. The river that David showed us. Those books as they go into Myanmar, Lord God, that you would even make those vans invisible to the army, that you would cover and protect them from any attacks of the army, Lord God. And take them all those hundreds of kilometres up to Kachin State. Oh, Father, we see, we see the river of God flowing, 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 Father, flowing, flowing in this nation, oh God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I was reminded of longer ago in the Myanmar watch and then of, of, of prayers and I I really um I feel that the Lord it's Myanmar it's really his people he kept aside mm -hmm. and that these books I see such a weight on the Bibles and and that the fullness of the gospel really the true gospel is in these books and the, the father was sent with these books and that it's like he kept that for this moment because um first comes the worship and that prepares and then now comes these books and there is just a, i see that it's like um um there is so much um it's like it's it's going up it's not just for one person but it will be families and there will with one of this bible lord father i in your name i bless these bibles there is so much what's coming with this bible like a whole community that you are planting planting but not just with um a church kind of thing no it's the full the truth the full truth the full true gospel that you are planting there, your word, and even this relationship with the father and the son, this really what's the, the, the fresh revelation you are planting with this Bible. I thank you for protection. I thank you that they will, you will um, um, bring them exactly supernaturally with your host to the right places, to the, the right people that, that are, I have a heart of, uh, hearts of peace already already prepared to receive in full father because it has to go together lord where you already blow the land you bring these uh, um these uh, bibles in lord and you with a pers personal revelation you will send with that and we pray for open heaven 
they are Lord. Mm -hmm. And we bless the people that are ascended, that are driving these vans or whatever, however they are reaching out, that they are welcome, that your host is um, going with them, that they are absolutely um, um, not, not visible for the armies or wherever they have to go through um, on borders or whatever, Father, that you are absolutely with them. I, I thank you that they, they are, the joy of the Lord is on them. The peace of God is um, in their work and the peace of God in absolute under the shield and that you shield, Father, and, um, and, and that love is just pouring out of their hearts, Lord. They Thank you that you keep them together. You are the God that's in between them and that they are sent it out like this, uh, like joy, the message full of joy, Lord. And everywhere where it comes, like it's like a river going out, Lord, and watering and, uh, and planting, Father. I thank you that there is so much joy with them, Lord, and your protection in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Mm. Yes, Lord. I also would like to pray for all these um, um, musicians and yeah, prayer warriors in, in the land, the worship leaders we saw in mm. this video. I really ask you to strengthen their arms and their knees and their minds, God. I ask you that they never lose hope, that they always keep on going, praising you and uh, teaching the others how to praise you in the midst of the storm, God. I ask you that they really raise up day and night again and again and sing the, their songs to you in the midst of the storm and to overcome the, the powers of darkness, God. We ask you really to release worship in this nation in the midst of all worship and um, yeah, prayer fight through through the music and fight through the um, praising and raising up your name God uh, we thank you for every one of this we ask you that no, of, no one of them will lose hope and will lose faith but that, that they encourage one another that they remember that you are the same before of all of this and in the midst of the storm and that you will have a future for the nation God we ask you that they go in front of, of this nation God like uh, like they did in the battle of Jehoshaphat, that the um, worship leaders were before the army, God. We really ask you that through this praise and worship, they can uh, keep their stand and being um, overcome us in the name of Jesus. Father, I, I pray, I pray that you continue to instill hope for the people in Myanmar. Thank you that other the, the international countries have now exercised some sanction. And Father, it's just so little, but then they are rejoicing and we are rejoicing in that little thing, but it means such a big thing to the people in Myanmar. Father, the hope that it just rises from just something and will continue, Lord, to stand in the gap for Myanmar so that the other countries will step up to do justice and for the, for the, for the people in Myanmar. Father, as talk has written about the junta asking the, Christ, the, the Christian ministers to vote for injustice to, to, it's all not right, Lord, and you know Father, I ask for wisdom for the ministers. I ask for protection for the minister. Because it's, it's not easy to say no to the, to the military. Father, once again, Father, I just know that nothing, nothing, 
Everything is in your hand and you will not allow things to happen. If it's not what you have a design. So Father, we just pray for all rain and 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 all the, the, the young men and women that has gathered around to do what they can. Father, may all the gospels, may all the word, the, your word, travel safely to Kachin State and to the people. Just as somebody said, make them invisible until they get to the place. So Father, we just commit this into your hands. Just thank you also for lots of other people that are praying ceaselessly day and night. We just thank you and that our prayers collectively would lift up the people in Myanmar. Thank you for the brightness and the courage of the young people. It just lifted my, my spirit to see the people in the blessing singing. We ask for protection for each and every one of them. That in the midst of difficulty, they will see some joy and that, that they will be able to encourage each other. Father, thank you for your, for the light that is shining, just even the little light that is shining. And Father, I just ask for supernatural um, miracles to come to each and every one in Myanmar, that they will know that you are there with them and for their courage to speak into people's lives too, that the Lord, their God, can en enable them to stand fast. Father, help us not to be weary in praying, but to continue to pray. Continue to intercede. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Father, and we ask you for all rain. You know what effect it is. Father, we ask you to strengthen him, to touch him, to be with him in everything he does for you, Father. Thank you that you called him to worship you, to minister to his people. Father, we ask you to bless him, to be with him, to save him. Let him feel your strong presence just now. Thank you for him, Father. Amen, Frederick. And Father, we do ask for miracles for this Muslim man that he's ministering to. He's been sick for a very long time. He's got no money to pay for medical help. Father, we, we're depending on you to touch this man, to bring him into your kingdom. And many like him, Lord. Lord, that you would yes. heal this man, raise him up, oh God. And the many others that are in similar situations who can't, can't um, afford or, or can't even uh, uh, get to any medical help. Lord, we're looking to you to bring a healing, your healing power for each one of these people, Lord God. Your Holy Spirit to minister healing, salvation, wholeness to these people, Lord God the IDPs, the many thousands of them. Lord. Father, we thank you for the 
faithfulness of these people two years is nothing yeah. they continue to even go and stand in silent protest in the streets of Yangon and Mandalay thank you Lord for their courage thank you for their for their faith Lord God and we just come together and we stand and we raise up their arms Lord we hold them up as Aaron and her held up Moses' arms yes. in presence of God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Father. Yes, Lord, we really ask you to answer their prayers that you rain down from heaven with your mercy and Father, we pray that you will give vision and a dream to the Muslim man that Orain is ministering to, Lord, and let him see you, Father. You have done this to so many Muslims, Lord, that you have shown who you are to them, and so many have come to believe in you. So, Father, we pray that you will do this to this friend of Orain's, and through that, heal him, O oh Father. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. And together, can we just pray blessing over this nation, over this people? I just feel there's a, an outpouring of blessing that he wants to, to bring over the nation. So could you just unmute and for a, a few seconds pray that blessing over, this, over the people of this nation? Father. Yes, yes. Yes. The richness everything will come from you, we bless them, that they will lack nothing, that you give them what they need, that you give them more than enough, they can give others, give to others, God. the blessing of your restoration, restoration, the blessing of your name upon these people. Lord, bless you, their beloved and that you hear their cries and you want to do them. Jesus' name. And bless Lord, just bless everybody on this call. Thank you, Lord. The glory of the Lord is risen upon you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Over to you, Alison. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Bless you, everyone. And, um, and Lord, bless you, Roz, and those that have been standing with you so faithfully for at least two years. I know it's been longer for you, um, but we just bless you, um, that you know, with great encouragement great encouragement and um, steadfastness as you continue this uh, journey with me and Ma. Bless you, everyone. Bless you. Bless you, Ross. Bless you. Bless you. God. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. No work. It kept Bless going you. on and off. Bye. Shalom. 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 Shalom.